Hey everyone, how are you doing? Just thought I would do a little tour of the classic allotment. We did the raised beds the other day, which are down there looking good. It's a glorious morning there, and I thought just take a little wander around. So we'll start off here. We have some little gem lettuce, some violas mixed in there. We've got some runner beans in there, or I think the runner beans, and some sweet peas. <laughs> There's a whole load of things in there and it gets a good water and it's all doing We just want to get a couple of flowers on there as well on the sweet peas so they seem to take ages to, but they've come now so and the, the beans are looking good as well so I'm happy with that The lettuce is just in there for a bit sure to be quite honest Now this bed is the red onions We've got red onions there and I've also Because I'm thinking they'll be coming up you know probably a month something like that so I've got in there a little row of turnips as well and I might put some leeks in there later on that's at the moment the red onions are looking nice looking all right next one is the potatoes I banked those up in the end I was getting a few people just talking about because I wasn't going to I wasn't intending to but the I guess it's obvious you probably get green green potatoes so I took his advice everyone on Facebook that said oh you need to bank them up Tony so I did that <laughs> bank them up this bed we have shallots lots and lots of shallots a couple of little flowers there to do little place then we have a little border of mixed lettuce can you see can, there we go so they'll come eventually as well that'll be like a little border which I'm looking forward to to be quite honest of just different mixed lettuces then some more beans in that on there and they were just kind of put in from actually beans that I found because we had them there last year and I just picked them you know off the pods planted them and they're away going there so there's some more coming there then we're on to the onions and again they're looking great and I'm not sure probably a month to go maybe somewhere around there and I'll be able to kind of start pulling some of them I've put in, if you just have a look there, there was just a few left. So I've just stuck them in there and I'll just pull them as spring onions soon. Then we have those two brassicas, the big ones, are sprouting broccoli. And that's the only ones out of probably say 10 that are left, which didn't get the, is it the cabbage root fly? Is that what the white, cabbage white fly? Just knocked them. I've also got in there some... <laughs> you know I should remember that I, th I think they're Brussels sprouts in there a couple of little flowers just to you know pretty up the place some more beans in that and they took a bit of a battering with the the storm hectare but they seem to be kind of pulling through as well and over there this is the the bed that that one plant there is one of the transplanted plants the I think it is the Oh, Savoy cabbage that I kind of took from when I was making the raised beds and we've got some little they're the same dwarf kidney beans dwarf beans should I say from Sarah Raven I just had a few left and I thought I would just plant them in there so that bed's actually from it's turned from a, a bed that there was only that one in you know so I put a few more brassicas in there it's quite a full little bed there and I'm, I'm quite happy with that because that sometimes just gets left it did with me so then we go more more beans yes i want lots of beans this year more beans and one two three four five six seven is that one two three four five yeah seven rows of beetroot we've got there coming on coming on very nicely soon be getting our paws on them and this is another mixture bed i remember we did like a companion planting of this so we've got courgettes in there we've got purple what were the purple brussels sprouts we've got a couple of pumpkins and we've got some more of the cavalier nero cabbage there as well you can see that a couple of rows and top of the tree there a little shallot where i found just stuck it in so everything seems to be good there i did have another courgette right in the middle at an empty space there but I think the wind took it the other day and just lost the whole lot. So 
but they, they're starting to get the courgettes on so they're starting to they're starting to come it's starting to look all right everything's looking good there here is the leeks carrots and more beans leeks are nice i'm going to plant some more i want some more leeks in just to keep going them beans are looking good they're, they're away like a rocket there now and now the carrots disappointed disappointed remember these two rows up here are the ones that i got in modules and they're a little bit sparse then but they're starting to come they're the ones that i planted myself now these module ones look oh. Oh, look at that. Everyone's going to be like that. So, to be honest, I cannot see the point of garden centre selling them. Because it just, you know what I mean? It's I've seen, I think it was Lovely Green's YouTube said it happened to her. So, I'm not even going to bother with that. Just chuck it over there in the compost. It's, what's the point of it? You know what I mean? It just, because it, it it's never going to work anyways. And I think... If you move on over here i've got some parsnips on that one now i'm guessing they're going to be the same as well so we'll see but i'm kind of deeply disappointed with them carrots i could probably and i probably will just pick them i'll pick them pretty quickly and just so i can free up some space and get some other things i know i've got something to go in there i can't remember what but i've got something to go in there already so yeah parsnips in this bed then the chard is coming ruby chard and golden is it um, bright lights there's a mixture there that there again or uh, that, that's the chard that i transplanted if you remember it was over on that bed over there big bed now i thought it would just go away set away straight away but to be honest it wilted for a couple of weeks there you know what i mean before it really kind of it got a hold and was was okay so that's ready i can we can start kind of picking the leaves off there that chard's near fair done and a mixture of italian salt lettuce different varieties and again they're all nice ready to rock and roll so looking good Th them lettuce were ones that are transplanted as well and they've took they took straight away but like i was mentioning the chard just which i thought would have been bulletproof stumbled and you know I nearly lost the whole lot but they're there now everything looks good so it's a glorious dear there we go a nice little overview of the things what's growing on everything's starting to come away there now again deeply disappointed with the carrots but it's it was just really a quick fix but it's just worth just doing it and seed I've got some more carrots in the in the raised bed in the raised bed garden but this is just the classic the classic english allotment now that i'm calling it'll just stand up on this little height there now and have a good look around glorious dear glorious dear so i've just popped up really just to give a quick water in the polytunnel everything here seems okay i can't see anything amiss no damage to anything no bugs slugs or anything nibbling away so that's it just thought i'd let you know give you a little look round speak to you later then take care